If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, today we have the new Icon Trezeguet to check out, and it is a midfielder. Midfielder. Okay, so... Um, play styles, he has power header, he has press proven, aerial, and the plus version is relentless plus. So significantly increases fatigue recovery during halftime and extra time. Greatly increases duration of teammate contain and partial team press. Okay, so in-game attributes, this card is probably formatted for either a shadow or an anchor one or one or the other he does have shooting capabilities um i mean you could technically give him an engine if you wanted to right to make him feel a little bit more responsible but he's a bigger guy already so you kind of have to expect that when using a card like this uh an anchor is definitely going to go ahead and change his uh accelerate i believe Gonna ch change him into a lengthy. Let's see here. Okay, so Trezeguet um, is a controlled lengthy on an anchor. So you would have 88 acceleration, 88 for sprint speed. Defensive stats increase, physical stats increase as well for the most part. So, I mean, yeah, it looks like an interesting card. Shadow could boost his acceleration sprint speed to be at a 92 92, and then you massively increase defense. It might be more ideal to use a shadow just because of the more significant improvements in the uh, defensive stats. But again, the anchor to push pace out of the card could be decent. It, it really depends on the person. Like for me, for instance, like I've seen pro players using Valverde on a shadow. And I was like, nah, like I need him on an anchor. Because for me, it, it makes that uh, that difference that I enjoy. But yeah, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the um, the loan version of the card. And then we'll just use him in the midfield setup and see how he performs. Uh, he doesn't have like the craziest play styles though. He has like decent ones, but yeah, we'll see how he plays. Oh, he was getting involved in the attack there too. Unlucky. Well positioned. Oh, I pressed the taco button there, nothing happened. Good reach. Well done, well done. Doesn't get the initial interception. Like maybe if I give him a shadow, he actually would, you know? Well done. We got a nice little cheeky uh, assist there with uh, Trezeguet. Ooh, get that. There we go. Oh, not a penalty. Does Trezeguet have free kick stats? Eh, not really. Oh, wow. Two deflections, eh? <laughs> that was two crazy deflections, bro. He did cover the the area well. Just couldn't get the stuff afterwards. Lost it 
Nice. Utilizes the bruiser. I say bruiser, but I, I mean the the body to body from the advanced defending. Little body faint. Okay, okay. Sorry, that touch with I don't know. Are they ever gonna give us the upgrade for Jota? That'd be nice, man. Nice, does well with the uh, shields dribble there. Yeah, see, that's the shield dribble, right? Does well on those for sure. Okay. 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 Shield dribble again. He's pretty solid at those. Still has it. <laughs> I don't know what that shot animation was. That was weird. I put a lot of power behind that one too. That was weird. Oh, I was going to miss anyways. I think that was going out. Oh. Nicely done. Just had to run into space to block that area. There we go. I'm going to commit this one here, actually, kind of force the lengthy out of the card. Can, uh, my players weren't quick enough to, like, really utilize the space there. Pass it off quick. Maybe, like, a Ronaldo chop. Oh, never mind. Okay. We adapt to what they give us. Offer support there. Let's go, my boy. David Trezeguet. Get that ball. There it is. All right. So we gave him a shadow chemistry style this time. Let's see how he plays. Ah, nothing there. I have to select him there, I think. So I tried to like touch and then shield right away, but I didn't get anything there. There you go. AI gets to it. It's good stuff. Nicely done. As well. First time passes and stuff. I'll trigger. Pass it off. There we go. Oh. The pass could have been a little bit better there on the lob, for sure. There was like a, a lot of like good space there, I would say. It's still in. Nice lob. Oh, no reach there. Oh, 
Oh, I couldn't get a lob there. Oh, almost gets the reach there. I like him more on the anchor, guys. Like, I've tried him out on the shadow, and, um... Yeah, I didn't really like it as much. Like, I prefer him on the on the anchor. Seems to be the case with most of the midfielders. I don't know. Like, some people still give shadows, but... I just feel like I noticed more of a presence with him on the anchor because it gives him the physical boost too, right? It's not just a defending. There we go. Create the space. Does Trezeguet have good pens? I mean, he must he must have good pens, right? Trezeguet. I'm going top right. Kept passing in the back, so we'll take that. We will take that. Did I block it? I think he did. Oh, no, he didn't. Very nice. I'll take that. Hit him with the flick, and he took me out. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Trezeguet card. So I think with the Winter Wild card icons, if you're, like, new in the game and you need cards to give you links that are still going to be, like, decent to use, you know, you get cards like this. You give him an anchor chemistry style, in my opinion, because I gave him a shadow. I didn't really notice, like, too much of a presence with him, but on the anchor, I noticed it a little bit more, personally. Maybe it's because of the extra strength, extra jumping and stuff to kind of work with the fact that he's six foot two. It's hard to say, right? But I liked him more on an anchor, pushing the length out of the car to kind of get into certain positions. Uh, it felt a little bit better to use. It's not as bad as some of the other SPCs they released because this card's at like 100k, right? So it's not as crazy as like releasing something that's like like super, super expensive um, because they think like, oh yeah, we're putting these like fodder grinders in the game and people are going to have all this fodder. They want to put them towards certain things, right? Um, I don't know. With this card, they could have given him more play styles. I think that would definitely be um, really helpful because he has none, right? Like he ha The ones that he does have are noticeably good. Um, power header, you're only going to be able to utilize sometimes because he still has an 85 for jumping, right? So whenever I went on the corner kicks and stuff, I definitely noticed his jumping being on the lower side uh, for certain situations. But obviously, if you do end up getting a header because he's like free or something, then you could potentially score those opportunities as well, right? Um, the shooting being a little bit higher helps out a lot for certain goal scoring opportunities. Obviously, when it comes to the dribbling of the card, I think the thing that you're going to use the most when it comes to using him is going to be the press proven part of it, right? Because there's so many different situations where, <clears throat> excuse me, you're dribbling. And you're going to be able to do the shield dribble really quickly because of the fact that he has that press proven, right? So um, it's an okay SPC. I mean, you know, it, it, like with the Winter Wild Card promo, honestly, they haven't been really, they haven't really been releasing like super meta cards. We're probably going to be doing the SBC tier list for some of the Winter Wild Cards that have been coming out because, you know, I think some people would actually prefer to have those types of videos uh, just so that they can know which cards are kind of worth improving or not improving, which, which cards are worth getting and which cards are not really worth getting, so on and so forth, right? So, um, yeah, it's an okay card, nothing too crazy special. It's more there for you to get the links with like some French players. You have a midfielder that's going to be usable. He's not like horrible by any means, but it's going to be a usable card, right? It's going to be that type of player in my opinion. So, uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.